We're going to spend time in God's Word. And please turn with me to the book of Hosea. In order for us to understand and just get into what this book brings out to us. Why is this book in the Bible? What is God communicating? What did He communicate to His people back then? And what is He communicating to us today through this book, the book of Hosea? That's what we want to talk about. I want to bring out the main theme of this book. What is God getting across to the people? He wants His people to know that He is so committed to them, so faithful to them, that even if they wander away, He's still coming after them. And so I've put down this outline and these four points, which I'll just highlight today. The call of God to a wandering soul. Secondly, the goodness of God to a wandering soul. The heart of God to a wandering soul. And the promise of God to a wandering soul. These are the four things we're going to see. So what do we see in the book of Hosea? The call of God to a wandering soul. There are two key words that really stand out, that are repeated in this book. One is return. Another one is seek. So the prophet's message to the people is return to God. Seek God. Returning to God is not a difficult thing. We think, oh man, oh, it's going to cost me so much. It's going to be so expensive. It's going to be so much. All he's saying is take words and return. Just tell me from your heart that you want to come back. Just tell me from your heart that you know what you feel. That's all I want to hear. The second point we want to talk about is the goodness of God to a wandering soul. What is God feeling towards you and me when we are actually wandering away from Him? The goodness of God to a wandering soul. Therefore, behold, I will allure her, will bring her into the wilderness and speak comfort to her. Think about His goodness. He's saying, these people are wandering away from me, but I'm going to bring them into the wilderness so that I can speak into their hearts. Number three, the heart of God towards the wandering son. This is the main part of the message. I want you to feel the heart of God. God says, I love them like a child. I called him. I taught him to walk. I took him by his hands. I healed him. I drew him with cord, gentle cords, verse 4, with bands of love. I stooped and fed him. Think about this. The picture of a father taking care of his son or child. God says, that's how I dealt with my people. But they still went away. After all these false gods, they went, wandered away. See the heart of God. What is God saying? He's saying, my people, how can I give, you, give up on you? How can I abandon you? How can I destroy you? I can't do it. He dealt with you and me so lovingly, so compassionately as a father deals with a child. And, you know, maybe we're unfaithful. Maybe we did things, or, you know, whatever. What, how do you think God feels towards you today? I want to show you one thing. God will not, cannot abandon you. He says, I love you too much. I just can't do it. Are you understanding? That's the heart of God towards a wandering soul. God says, I am God. I am the Holy One who is. He says, my people. Israel has surrounded me with lies and with deceit, but I am. The last thing I just want to quickly highlight, number four, is a promise of God to a wandering soul. What is God's promise to them? Verse four, I will heal their backsliding. I will love them freely, for my anger has turned away from him. Basically, he's going to restore you. He's going to renew you. And uh, your fragrance and everything that was good about you is going to come back. And he says, even people will come back to you. Those who were with you before and abandoned you, they'll be back. Everything will be restored in your life. So that's the promise of God. 
to our wandering soul. He says, now you return to the Lord. You bring those words. Say, God, I'm sorry. I'm turning away. I'm renouncing these things and I'm turning to you. God says, look, I will heal your backsliding. I will love you freely. I will restore everything. I'll restore you know, all the glory and the grandeur that you had. I will bring it back to you. People will come back to you. Amen.